Hello, my name is Craig Berard, and I'm a teacher in training at Western Washington University, and I want to discuss my thoughts on technology as a future educator. Today's classrooms are ever more reliant on technology that enhances learning experiences for the benefit of a diverse array of students, each with their own different and unique needs, who deserve a high-quality education. I believe there is a definite place for advanced technologies within the framework of inquiry-based social studies education that I intend to teach, which covers topics ranging from history to geography, economics, civics, and social sciences. Traditionally, the social studies curriculum has utilized very low-level technology approaches to fulfilling its learning objectives. Standardized textbooks, paper assignments, and in-person lectures from teachers have been the standard fare, and we're quickly finding out that that's not enough to adequately engage every student. Recently, school districts have been looking for ways to introduce and incorporate more technology to enhance the learning experience and redefine what is possible. For example, one school district that I have been observing during the course of my teacher preparation has been introducing Chromebooks, which allow students to access the internet and use different applications on personal laptops. Given all that they can do, devices like these open up a whole new realm of technological possibilities in the classroom. Using such technology, I believe students can become empowered learners with programs like OneNote, ClassDojo, and Seesaw, which would allow them to set personal learning goals, build networks, and seek feedback from their peers and teachers in a virtual classroom setting. I am certain these will have a welcome place in my classroom, as I want students to shift away from being dependent learners to discover their own power as free and independent learners. I would also want them to be engaged with perspectives and points of view that would allow them to grow in their knowledge and understanding. I also want students to learn more about digital citizenship, which they can through comics created by programs like Powtoon and Pixton, which can provide brief lessons on proper online conduct and personal safety, and provide students opportunities to demonstrate their understanding of what digital citizenship means in a way that is also fun to create and to read. With technology, students can become knowledge constructors by creating their own concept maps, which link ideas and subtopics through programs like Mindomo to curate their resources and discoveries, formulate authentic questions, and pursue pathways to more research. I would definitely like to apply some of these programs as visual aids and supports for their learning beyond mere journalistic notes. Students can become innovative designers through collaborative projects like Kids think design that leads them through a deliberative design process that is considerate of design constraints and results in comprehensive products aimed at tackling open-ended problems. One such project I envision would have students create a community resource map that details locations which provide access to necessary services that would aid them in their urban survival. Technology can also help students become computational thinkers with programs like Minecraft Education Edition that gives them access to abstract models and play to learn with concepts like automation. Lessons using this kind of technology could help students visualize complex problems and appreciate their component parts and appraise different solutions for their costs and merits. They are also free to make mistakes, which is an important part of the learning process. Students can even become creative communicators that allow them to express their ideas in unique and visually stimulating ways by making videos with voice and music. Movie making software has excellent potential for students to document their learning and share their ideas and personalities with classmates in a way that is fun and entertaining. Through technology, students can even connect with the greater world around them to collaborate on global level to tackle problems that no individual could hope to do on their own, and to assume a variety of roles that best make use of their individual talents and interests toward a common goal. And that's not all. Technology is more accessible than ever before, with text-to-speech and speech-to-text options available for students with difficulty typing, speaking, or reading. Translation software can bridge language barriers for students whose skill as an English language learner would have left them struggling behind. Options for simplified English are also available, which can make difficult articles more accessible to students who struggle with more complex English. With technology, teachers such as myself can also engage parents in their child's learning in ways never before possible, with teacher blogs and newsletters providing information on ways parents can better assist their children, and video conferencing for personal interaction between myself and distant parents. However, for parents who lack access to high-tech devices like computers, smartphones, and tablets that would allow them to participate, there is still a place for lower technology options including paper mail and traditional phone conferencing. But sure enough, whether it's high or low, there is no barrier that can't be overcome with technology, and I look forward to the many ways it may be utilized within my own classroom. Thank you.